Okay. Thank you. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker. We're the all final set. destination of our we long journey. Continue our journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for. Right, we heard this a little bit earlier, so let's hit that. My door is going to keep shutting because it's windy out. So if I hear my dog bark, then I need to let her in because otherwise she'll uh, be barking. Um, I like it. Everything's abundant, but the truck is okay. Over. But, uh. Roger that. Don't go too I think the mint is just a little, like, overtaking it. Roger that. I wish that it was just watermelon or more I watermelon. Yeah. I'm trying to use it more because if I don't use it more, then I'll use my peach ice tea and blue ice too much. My taste was like fake to me, but it goes with the vodka. <laughs> I tried I tried it with rum the other day and it was actually pretty good. Dude, I don't know why it does that. Vodka. Sorry, rum. <laughs> It's because you said vodka two times. Uh, three times. My bad. See, that's why I was messing with the settings. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, jeez. Vodka, like, cancels out the weird mint taste, and the mint cancels out the vodka. And are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? Alright, come with us. I'll never hear the end of it. Oh, I need decision. it. That's why. That's one of the reasons why I was messing with the settings earlier. But I need. I need to look into it. Cause you're a sub, so there's things I can do that makes it not apply to certain people. Uh, but I need to figure out wh who's considered a regular and who's considered a pleb. Because it doesn't give me a list of who is that what. Because if somebody's a regular, they're constantly coming back to the stream. They're less likely to say some radical stuff. So, uh, there's that. But, oh my god. Holy frame rate drop right here. It's only when I'm looking this way. But when I look this way, it's fine. Yeah, that's what I was trying to look into. There's, there's some things, uh, I use, as you can see, I use Fossabot, so, like, when you go to a, a setting, you can choose, like, underneath, it'll say, who does this apply to, and it'll say, like, regulars, everyone, subs, and plebs, I think plebs are brand new people, but I don't know what defines somebody as a regular, and I would like to set that where, like, if somebody sends like 25 messages or 50, now they're considered a regular and now other rules don't apply to them, you know? But uh, I'll have to look into it look later off stream because so right. there's some things People I can add in there. All over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow though, until now. So much His gun keeps wasted. loading in and then We'll make up for that Disappearing. Now. Well, we're almost there. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. Look, this is a bad place. Now, we shouldn't have come here. Really? What? He doesn't have a gas okay, mask on. So, where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? <laughs> I don't get this. He's talking like he has one on now. Sir, you're gonna die. I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See? We expected. 
I don't trust them. Yeah, I smell a trap too. Why is it so deserted here? No gun placements, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. There's a 99% chance that there's going to be a, a bunch of uh, Germans that come out of nowhere. All right, we can take our gas mask off. Well, you didn't have one on the entire time. Could use some cleaning at the very least. You know what? There's no need for us all to crowd the government. So you two better stay with Chris. Yes, sir. Sir. Murmur. Yes, sir. You're 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 just gonna get us all in trouble here. There's a phone in the elevator. So quiet. Did you at least prepare a speech? Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, they're totally a bunch of Germans. We're screwed. Look at their hat. Oh, what? Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City. Why is he smiling so weirdly? He looks like Chinese. That my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Oh, it's the red. Are you? Oh, God. <laughs> I thought I turned that off. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. I could have sworn I turned that. Isn't that this? Guess I was wrong. What the? Where am I? Where are the others? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. <coughs> so far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. There's Everything literally... is just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Yeah, it literally enabled it. Is the government answer. All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait. There's though. somebody that literally said that. First. 
I don't like that call for Untie hers. my hands, oh, you motherfucker, and I'll shove those tests so far up your ass. T You'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Not a single. So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not oh a problem, boy. though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. Yakov. Even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime... I'll excuse Stupid. myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get some rid of Burn this town to ashes! Long so that even the dirty fools remain! Now we'll be full again! Good. Gross. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna need guns to stop him. No! Okay, good. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Sam. Bring it on, boys. Right between the eyes. I got the treat for you, kid. People let me. Bother attempting to aim. Go, 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 go. Get in where? Oh, this. Ooh. Dude, they have so many. Oh, my God. Back where I miss. Uh, we got set into a trap, basically. Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. <laughs> True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Yeah, 
okay. Go, go, go. Great. What? Where am I going? Hold on. Wait, where did he go? Wait, what? Thinking about getting a pre-built PC. Uh, now's the perfect time. I mean, you could save a little bit money if you built one yourself, but I mean, personally, I'm not really against pre-builds because I have one, so. There's that. And especially if it if it's all new to you, then it's probably a good good idea too. What am I waiting on? Um, now use this ah, Okay It's shot Okay. Open up this. Should add some ammo. Nice. Now we got some ammo for that. Let's use this uh this thing. I have not found her yet. Kick in the door. I don't know if I will. Maybe. I mean, there's a chance in it, but I'm not 100% sure whether I will. I mean, personally, probably not. Unless if like there's like a really good deal one day and you get it for like uh, a, a really good percentage off. But I don't know. We'll see. Also, right now, I think it's an Epic Store exclusive, so it's not even going to be on Steam. And for PC members, it really, like, I personally, I really don't think it's changing much. Like, it's cool, and I'm always down for more Saints Row, but, like, it's for console, it's just making it look a little, a tiny bit better, but the frame rate is still stuck at 30 frames per second, which is honestly, like, kind of absurd. Like, why even put it out at that point? It literally just, personally, I think it just looks like a retexture pack that they could have just put out for the game, but they need money, so. I don't know. It, it's, it kind of just looks like somebody modded it and added a, a lighting mod to it. 
yeah uh so metro exodus it does have two two dlcs and i don't know i'll look into them after i'll look into like reviews of them if they're worth it then i'll buy them because I, I have this the game through xbox game pass which is worth having in itself um xbox game pass at least and then if i uh, if i hear or see good things about the reviews then i'll pick it up also uh oh does frame rate do i uh, basically it's how good the game looks so most games like nowadays 60 frame frames is where you kind of want your games to be at so i have a monitor for pc like consoles they can only go up as of right now they can only go up to uh 60 frames per second basically the higher the frame rate the smoother the game looks in a way so if you have like 30 frames for a game that has a lot of action it's gonna look like it's stuttering but for me i have a monitor that goes up to 144. now there's people that argue that you can only see a certain amount but when it comes to smoothness when you play gt a game simple as gta when you play it on console versus playing it on pc that's literally how I got into PC gaming. You see the difference. You see how much smoother it looks running, uh, aiming, everything. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the easiest way to explain it. What are you doing? <laughs> oh God, he's about to eat. Gross. Yeah, well, kind of. 4K is quality. So, like, that's the thing. That's the, the thing right now is you can't really get, like, 4K uh, and 60 frames. I mean, it's possible, but you need a really good computer to be able to do that. That's how... Uh, like Xbox and, and consoles compensate for it is they'll have an option for uh, better quality but better quality usually decreases your frame, frame rate if you decrease the quality you get higher frame rates and it runs smoother and better so it's all personal choice like uh, PS4 that PS4 Pro a lot of games like when you start them up they'll be like do you prefer performance or do you prefer uh, uh, quality? So that's when you'll get like 4K and things like that. But it, it's hard with consoles because nowadays, I mean, the newer versions of them, they're better. But it's still like, it's hard for most people to still run like 40 are 4k and 60 frames for the most part but the the perfect middle ground which is the monitor that i have in my opinion is the you can get it's basically 2k now people argue that it's not 2k but it's uh 1440p so it's better than 1080 but it's not the 4k obviously but it's about it's about half of what 4k is but then you can also get very high frame rates too because it goes up to 144 hertz which can equal 144 frames so it's another positive with pc gaming and once you get a game running at that frame rate and and looking good too it's it's something that makes you never want to go back to console gaming yeah yeah if you have a ps4 pro then it's it's capable of running 4k but it all depends on the game and some games run 4k better than than others
it's all and at the end of the day it's all personal preference crossing us Is he dead? I think he's dead. Wow. My personal opinion uh, when it comes to like console wars is for the most part, they're pretty much pointless. Um, people will play what they want to play either way. And uh, as long as people get the experience of actually playing games, that's that's really what matters. I'd rather have everybody have the chance, whichever console you prefer, to experience games and play what they want to play, rather than, I don't know, which one's better. Everybody knows PS4 has the better games and Xbox has the better performance. So it's all your own choice and uh, me being an Xbox fan preferring Xbox over PS4 I probably won't even be buying the new Xbox and the main reason is because they have Xbox Game Pass and all of their first party games will be coming to uh, PC which is literally how I'm playing with X PC Game Pass for uh, Xbox PC Game Pass thing. That's how I'm literally playing this game right now. So I'll be supporting them through that. And uh, yeah, but I most likely will get a PS5 and their only reason is because uh, there will, I know at some point there will be games that come out that I want. Artyom, I knew. Behind you! Ah! Ah! So hype for PS5? Same. I definitely won't get it day one. Which is going to be the first console console release that I didn't get any console day one. Damn, girl. Are you alright, Artyom? Thank God. Thank you. Yeah, I can. I understand that. Let's report. To I'm gonna the personally wait until like probably a bundle comes out. Usually, I don't pick up like uh, PlayStations until a few months after. Like I think I got my PlayStation for literally for uh, Uncharted for. Whoa there. All right, come on. Come on, R RTM, be a gentleman. This whole situation, though. I'll her out. Yeah, I was pretty late, too, bro. Uh, bought my pro the weekend before Spider-Man came out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that That's where I would have been at. But <sighs> I needed to play uh, but no. it appears there was still Uncharted. Space for growth. We could have got killed there. We almost got eaten here. I would have that launch experience this time. Yeah, I can understand that. If they're say if they come out with like four, I would say like four games day one that are really interesting. Then in that case, yeah, I'll I would pick it up. Depending on where my financial status is, though, also. <laughs> But other than that, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, one sec. I think my... I didn't... 
the door just shuts from the wind anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's have played again. I'm sorry. I'm my pro onto my dad too, so it'll be a matter of something to play PS4 games too. Well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna turn that off real uh, actually, I'm gonna wait until this is over and then I'll turn it off. So that way you're not getting timed out for something little like that. Yeah, I'll stream games whenever I get one. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. Any second now, you should be able to talk again. <laughs> Sorry, Dom. Er, Rom. My bad. I'm adding them together. Just flickered. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. <laughs> Also want to turn it off so that way it's not like uh I don't want you getting banned. Well, I mean it's pretty easy to fix it. Open dashboard. Channel filters. Repetition filter. See, like, I can literally, when I'm in there, it says affected user groups, plebs, founders, subs, VIPs, and regulars. I don't know who's considered a founder, who is a pleb, who is a regular. Like, what? And okay, well, yeah, let me just straight up turn it off. Yeah, oh, really? Nah, -uh. I don't think you should have put it like that. I don't know. Well, yeah, I can assign which one is like who gets affected by it. So, like, I could turn it off for subs or regulars or founders or whatever it is. But I need to look up the description of the user groups. And there's no tab to like click on and see like who is a part of what group. So I'm in their Discord too, so if I need to look it up through there, I can. I also just realized that there's not a word filter thing. So, um,. There's some words that I want to add in so that'll be timed out if somebody says it. <laughs> I'm assuming you can assign them manually or, or something. But. I tried looking into it like a while ago, but I couldn't figure it out. And also, there's something that's flickering in the center there. What the hell? It's like... Oh god. She has no armor. Get 
How many people do they have? It's like World War Z. Holy crap, dude. Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. That was a mess. Yeah, a few hours later. I think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. Tisk, tisk, that we were tisk. still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka. I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> keeps coughing. Be, but first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for the place you wanted? Sound the horn then. <coughs> Beat yeah, Yamato level. Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are Red. ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. So, once we complete this area, we're technically like halfway through. Because then we'll have two more seasons to go through. Hey! It just rhymed through with through. Gaspian. Yeah, it's gonna have the well supposedly the top one hundred games for PS4 will be back backwards compatible. Guess this area is pretty big. And now wants me to look over those, but I won't. Not right now. I wish you could like choose which settings what triggers an action to be saved. 
But I will go through them and see if there's any cool ones. He's hot. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. Somebody lives there. I see. Oh, this is an auto walk. Stepan is the worst off. Uh, the others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. <sighs> Thank you. Ada, you and Amir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. Tear looks funny. And we're all out of coal. <sighs> I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Damir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. We'll do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Roger Just that. try to be careful, all right? Always. Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move up as soon as you're ready. All right, we'll do. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? Higher, Tom. Hey, Duke. Uh. It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight, and we, we don't have much diesel. Oh, wait. Left. We have to look at the map. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora wouldn't be needing any help. How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. So, how'd you find the premises, idiot? Looks like <laughs> his name. Hey, are you going out? Look here, then. This is something I finished just what now. Is it? Ah, hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Ooh. Now you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly. With all this sand around. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Got that. We'll take some ammo. Yeah, let me make some of these. Spend 500 consumable resources on crafting. Every time I get that, every time it goes off, it goes off on my watch too. Because I have the Xbox app on my phone. Every time a notification for an achievement goes there, it goes here. It's weird. Fifty. The main component of the Dakar bullet is small gas capsule filled with flammable substance ignited by the contact with air. It costs a lot of materials to make it. Okay. Let's make sure she's all cleaned up. Okay, so we got tries to suppress sound with mixed results while staying a bit more compact. Okay, I'll stick with this for now. Reflex four times. Now I'll stay with the uh, current scope. Same thing. Infrared laser. Visible beam produces a very small dot on the target, only detectable with night vision device. Oh. 
Which is only detectable with night vision. Oh, okay, I see. There's the Gatling. <laughs> no thanks. That thing would waste so much ammo. Same thing. Okay. Check this. Red laser. Can't swap it out. Okay. Mm, Artyom. <coughs> Wait, I'm coming with you. I think I could use a little walk right now. Stopa, you can hardly walk. You'd better rest while it's not your shift. Well, Artyom, I really do feel kind of under the weather now. Stay Maybe safe. You're right. Artyom and Demir are going out for a simple recon, not a fight. And what if they get attacked? Nice. Then they'll retreat back to Let's base. Just reload this. Cover them. Damn, the sun is saving a ball today. Okay, set up the perimeter. You get to the back of the train, idiot. You okay, get the so over there. I'll clean the place up. Then we'll Let me check out. this real quick. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's anything. Alright. Before we move out, I hydrate.